it's homework time. Yes, hep, 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 hep. homework time is here yet again. Let's jump right in. Start off the right way. Put your name at the top of your paper. All right, my name, you write yours, and go ahead and write today's date. All right, today, you write the actual date. Deal. Our instructions for number one, use the area model, there it is, to represent 220 one hundredths. And we'll complete the number sentence, which is right there. Now, I actually want to do this backwards. I want to start with B in the space below, explain how we determined our answer to part A. So how are we going to figure out 220 one hundredths? How many tenths is that? I think it makes sense to figure it out before we answer it. Call me crazy. All right. So I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm going from hundredths to tenths, right? Okay, so let's set this up the same way we did equivalent fractions, which is something we've learned relates very nicely to decimals. I'm going to do something with this 220 one hundredths so that I can uh, rewrite it in terms of tenths. Well, what do I do to 100 to get 10? And don't say subtract 90. Come on. Right, you got it. Divide by... 10. Yes, you remember this from equivalent fractions. And of course, I need to divide by a value of 1, so I'm only changing the form and not the actual value of the number. So dividing by 10 tenths, well, 220 divided by 10. Remember this from module 1? Yeah, uh, or 2 or whatever. Yeah, on the, on the place value chart, okay, so it would be 22. I'm not going to explain that any further. So this right here shows how did we determine how many tenths that is? There it is. Okay, but we also have to think of it in terms of how many ones and how many tenths. And so what we can do here now is express this improper fraction as a mixed number. Ooh, yeah. All right, so how many tens in 22? Well, there are two. We're doing division here, aren't we? There are two tens. Math is like this, yo. There are two tens and 22 because 2 times 10 is 20. Subtract to get a remainder, which is actually our numerator. So there, there are two tens and 22 because 2 times 10 is 20. Subtract 22 minus 20, and that gives us a remainder of 2, which, as I just said, is our numerator. Does that make sense? Show sure enough. All right. And this, actually, I mean, maybe your teacher wants some words, but this is my explanation. How did I get what I'm about to put in up here in this number sentence? It comes right from this mathematics here. So 220 one hundredths is how many tenths? It's right there. It's 22 tenths. zippity doo da. I told you we're doing the whole thing backwards. And how many ones and tenths is that? See, how many ones, how many tenths? Oh, look, it's two ones and two tenths. Bring ding, ding. How do I write that as a decimal? I practically just did. It's two ones and two tenths. And you see, they give us this other slot here um, where you could write uh, a zero. It seems long enough to, but uh, I, I, I think not. Okay. So now, in, now, because we're doing the whole thing backwards, we'll go and do the area model. And you are going to shade in your area model much more neatly than I'm going to, because I'm just kind of Walking you through it. I don't have to turn this in, yo. All right, so blah, 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 one hole, blah, 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 two holes. That's horrible. I know. Don't do it like that. And then two tenths. So two ones and two tenths. See? Two ones, two tenths. I can even, if I want to be, you know, like super cool, say, hey, that's two. That's a horrible two. That's an inexcusably horrible two. Oh, that's a horrible bracket. Horrible's the name of the game. Going on. Well, dear friends, this is a very serious moment here at... No, it's not. Okay. Number two, draw a place value disk to represent the following decompositions. All right. Three ones is how many tenths? Okay. Now, all right, let's do this. Whew. I know none of us like drawing all these little circles. Let's suck it up and do it. Okay. Okay. All right, so we got three ones we're starting with, one and two and three. Now, how many tenths is that? And this is where it gets a little painful. Okay, so, all right, so this one, think of it as one dollar, is how many dimes? It's ten dimes. See, this is where the pain begins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10. And notice I'll make them smaller because, yeah, I know I have to fit a bunch in here. And this dollar is how many dimes? This one is how many tenths? It's 10 tenths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And this one is how many tenths? A uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, twenty, thirty. Three ones is thirty tenths. <sighs> okay. Next up, three tenths is how many hundredths? Well, okay, so here's three tenths. How many hundredths is that? Well, let's take this dime, this first dime right here. How many pennies in a dime? It's 10 cents. It's 10 pennies. It's 10 hundredths. One tenth equals 10 hundredths. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you've probably already realized that this one's going to look a whole lot like that one. And that's actually what you already did in the uh, lesson and problem set earlier today, didn't you? And this tenth is also 10 hundredths. This dime is also equal to 10 pennies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And of course, this dime is equal to ten pennies. This tenth is equal to ten hundredths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So indeed, three tenths equals thirty hundredths. Three dimes equals thirty pennies. <sighs> okay, now we have two ones and three tenths. And we're going to put the whole thing into tenths. Well, hot dog and hallelujah, these three tenths are already tenths. So I can just kind of like lay them alone. I'll look at this one, though, and say, hey, I already know from up here, right, that one dollar is ten dimes. One one is ten tenths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then this boy over here, same thing. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you thought we were done drawing place value disk way back when we did division. And now, okay. Um, so how many tenths do I have now? I have 10, 20, and these three make 23 tenths. All right, so think of it as two dollars and three dimes. Well, you can cash in those two dollars for dimes, and you'll have to put 23 dimes. Easy enough. Okay, three tenths. Three hundredths will express entirely as hundredths. And again, think of this in terms of money. I'm going to take this dime, cash it in for pennies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think my discs are getting progressively worse. No, they were horrible all along. Okay. And then this dime, I'm going to cash in for ten pennies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Maybe they are getting worse. And then this time I'm going to cash in for 10 pennies. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. <sighs> Thank you, Lord. 10, 20, 30, and 3 hundredths is 33 hundredths. So you see I started with 3 dimes and 3 pennies. Changed in those dimes for pennies. That gave me 30 pennies with the 3 I already had. 33 pennies, 33 hundredths. Yes! Let's see what number three has in store for us. Well, holy happy corn dogs, there ain't no place value chart here. Hallelujah! Decompose the units, and I guess they mean this, to represent each number as tenths. So we're given, look, one, two, one and three tenths, two and six tenths, ten and three tenths, twenty and six tenths, and we're just going to put all those into just tenths. So again, thinking of money is helpful here. One dollar is how many dimes? You know that. You've known that. It's ten. Look, that line is unnecessary. It is ten. One whole is ten tenths. So then two whole, yeah, okay, you got it, is twenty tenths, right? Two dollars is twenty dimes. And if you have a dollar thirty cents, ah, yes, a dollar and three dimes, one and three tenths, how many dimes would that be in all? Well, the dollar's 10, we already know that, and then you have these three, so a total of 13 tenths. And now you're beginning to see, look, we don't do shortcuts. We don't do shortcuts, but we can do ways of thinking about things, which is simply that if you look at a number like this and you say, hey, it's, read it like a number, pretend the decimal isn't there for a second, you say, this is 13, what place am I in? Tenths. See the magic? 
In fact, if this number were written this way, okay, and you don't have to write this down, I'm just showing you something, I could say this is 130, what place am I in? Hundreds, 130 hundreds. You see the magic there? It's beautiful. I'm going to erase that. Beautiful. All right, so now we have two dollars and six dimes. Two and six tenths. Twenty-six, what place are we in? Tenths. Okay, we see how this works now? We're getting good at this. And it's especially useful here. Uh, and you can think of this in different ways. That's t that ten dollars is how many dimes? Well, each of those ten dollars is ten dimes. So ten, twenty, thirty, blah, 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 hundred, plus the three dimes we already have here. So one hundred three dimes. Or you could just say, look, it's one hundred three tenths is the place we're in. It's one hundred three tenths. That ten dollars thirty cents in money would be one hundred three dimes. Ah, like I didn't even have to say anything. You already know it. Two hundred six tenths. You got it. Two hundred. Six tenths. You're getting good at this. Let's go check out number four. Well, holy catfish, Batman. It's more the same, except, in fact, it's exactly the same. I mean, it's the same. Like, those are the same numbers we're working with, except, yeah, now we're going to hundreds. Okay, now let me show you a little way of thinking about this, just the same as I related. There's a couple of ways. One, that this is one dollar is how many pennies? One dollar is how many pennies? How many cents? And... Yes, it's 100. Okay, and another way of thinking about this is to write it out to the hundredths place and then read it just like a number, pretend the decimal isn't there. 100, what place am I in? Hundredths. 100, hundredths. Same thing here. $2 then is how many pennies? 200 hundredths, yes. And then here, watch, I'll write it out like this. How many pennies in a dollar 30 cents? Well, when I place that zero there, which doesn't change the value of the number, I can see quite easily it's 130, what place am I in? Hundredths, 130 hundredths. That the dollar's 100 pennies, the three dimes is 30 pennies, 130 pennies altogether, 130 cents. So the same will hold here. I'm going to write it out so you can see it. And in fact, I'll go back and do it up here for that one, just so you can see how it's 200 pennies. This is... 2 and 6 tenths. I place that 0 in the hundredths because, and the reason I'm doing it is because I'm trying to figure out how many hundredths it is. It's 260 hundredths. You see how you can think about this? And again, it's not a shortcut, it's just a way of thinking about it. Um, 1, 0, dot 3. 10 and 3 tenths. How many hundredths is that? Well, okay, now it's going to look a little tricky, but watch through the magic of imagination. If I write it out to the hundreds place and read this just as a number, ignoring the decimal for a moment, 1,030 hundredths. <sighs> Splendiferous. And you can also reason this out saying, okay, each dollar of these ten dollars is a hundred pennies, right? 100, 200, 300, 400, 1,030 pennies. 1,030 Hundreds, sneak a comma in there. All right, and same thing here. If I just write it out to the hundreds place so I can see it more easily, and there's no magic or trickery here. I'm just writing out to hundreds place because I'm converting it to hundreds. I want to see it that way. 2,060, what place am I in? Hundreds. 2,060 hundreds. So 2,060 hundreds. Beauties, we're almost done. Number five, let's do it. Don't worry, don't worry. I know we've seen charts like this before, these tables, and you're like, oh, no, not this thing again. This one's actually much more straightforward than some of the ones we did before with expanded form where we had to do a lot of figuring and writing. Watch the, what this does. Read this as a math number. Don't say point, say and. Four and one-tenth. Mix number, four and one-tenth. Look back at the decimal. How many tenths is that? 41. What place are we in? Tenths. That's easy to write in unit form, right? 41 tenths. And as a fraction, 41 tenths. And then to take it out to hundredths, I would just, so I can see it more easily, place that zero there and say, oh, it's 410. What place am I in? Hundredths. 
400 ten hundredths, and then to write that from uniform into uh, an improper fraction is pretty straightforward, 400 ten hundredths. So let's do it with this one. Five, read it as a math number. Don't say point, say and. Five and three, what place are we in? Tenths. Five and three tenths. See, because then writing a mixed number is exactly the same thing. Five and three tenths. How many tenths is this? Ignore the decimal point. Read it out to the tenths place. 53, where are we? Tenths. 53 tenths. Isn't that exactly what I'll write as, a, as an improper fraction? 53 tenths. Now to go out to hundredths, I'm again, just so I can see more easily, going to place that zero there. 5 and 30 hundredths, right? 530. What place am I in? Hundredths. 530 hundredths. So 530 hundredths. And then my fraction form is written the same exact way as I'm saying, 530 hundredths. All right, now we can uh, pick up the pace a little bit here because we understand what, our, what we're doing. Read this as a math number. Say and, not point. Nine and seven in the tenths place. Nine and seven tenths. Mixed numbers written the same way. Nine and seven tenths. How many tenths? 97 tenths. Got it. 97 tenths. And that's exactly what the fraction will look like. 97 tenths. I like to place this zero so I can read it out to hundredths. 970 hundredths. 970 hundredths. And you can stop along the way and relate that to money and say, oh yeah, $9.70 will be 970 pennies. It's an awful lot to carry around. My fraction form looks the same way. 970. Hmm, that's not a very good zero. The table is shaking. Excuses. 970 hundredths. 10. Read it as a math number. Say and. 10 and 9 tenths. Mixed numbers written the same way. 10 and 9 tenths. Read it out as a number to the tenths place. 109, where are we? Tenths, 109 tenths. And so the fraction's written the same way. 109, what? Tenths, you got it. 109 tenths. To envision it more easily out to hundredths, I will place the zero, so I'm looking at it out to hundredths. 1,090 hundredths. 1,090 hundredths. And check your spelling on that as well. You might as well learn how to spell these things. And so the, uh, the fraction's written the same way. 1,090 hundredths. Last one. Read it as a math number. Don't say point, say and. 68 and 5 tenths. Mixed numbers written just like that. 68 and 5 tenths. Look at it as a number. 685, 685, where are we? Tenths. 685 tenths. And now the fraction is written the same way as we just read that. 685, what? Tenths. To envision it as hundredths, I just want to place that zero so I can see it written out to the hundredths place. 6,850, where am I? Hundredths. 6,850 hundredths. I'm trying to squeeze it in here. And so as a fraction, it's written the same way. 6,000. 850 what hundredths? Well, look at that. You've gone and done it again. You completed another homework time. Congratulations. Nice work. I'll see you again next time. It is once again homework time.